What's going on, family? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. And today I want to dive in and I want to talk about a, um, a college athlete that I think has been working the podcast model really well. And you're going to see it in this episode. Let's get into it. Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and dive in. So this past weekend, I was watching college football, just like I'm sure many other people were all across the world. And I happened to tap into the University of Colorado or Colorado University and Texas Christian University. This was probably one of the most sought after games for people to watch this past weekend. Why? Because Coach Prime with Colorado has a lot of weight weighing on him, right? The AD of Colorado has a lot of weight weighing on their program and their football program because last year they were just 0-11, okay? However, Colorado Buffaloes rose to the occasion and they defeated a number 17 team going into the first game of the year. Why is this? Why is this relevant? Why are you talking about this on Beyond the Ball, John? What's happening? OK, so look, here's the thing. In that game, there's a player by the name of Travis Hunter, and he played over a hundred plus snaps in this particular game. Why does that matter? We're getting there. We're getting there. Trust me. Just keep rocking. Keep rocking. Family, because you all know this is Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. And I wanted to break down Travis Hunter for a few reasons. The first reason is this. Travis Hunter was initially supposed to go to Florida State a few years ago. Then he decided to go to Jackson State to play under Coach Prime. This is relevant because Coach Prime was a two-way player in his time, right? In uh, college, I believe he played two ways a little bit. But then he played two ways even in the NFL a little bit for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Travis Hunter is out on the field for Jackson State and then, which is now Colorado, he's playing both sides of the ball. I look up after the game. They did a great job. They won. But I look up and what do I see? This past Sunday, I looked up and I saw that now Travis Hunter is partnering with Bleacher Report for a podcast entitled 12 Talks with Travis Hunter. And what is he doing on this podcast? On this podcast, he is sharing his thoughts, his perspectives, his opinions about what happened the previous week in college football. So he plays on Saturday or whatever day during the week. Then he comes back. Monday, and then he's live in the Bleacher Report app doing his podcast. Y'all, and the crazy part is that the setup is so simple. He sets up on his computer. He probably has a um, a computer cam, like so a computer camera, and it has his headphones with the mic jack to talk into it. And throughout the course of his podcast, he's just breaking down different segments. He's doing like a Heisman watch. He's doing what players perform really well. He's doing what players does he like this year. He's giving his top five picks. And the thing I really appreciate about Travis Hunter is he's leveraged media in a way to so to where so many others can duplicate or replicate. Right. Yes, he is doing it with Bleach Report. So he has a different opportunity there. But you at home, student athlete. Who's Division Three, Division Two, II, Division One, NAIA, Junior College? You can do the same thing. You have a laptop, you have some form of headphones, and you can go in and share and break down the game that happened for you last week, what you did at practice the other day. Just last week, we we're talking about documenting versus creating, right? And we'll link up that show in in the show notes so you can dive in and get access to that. But I want you to understand this. Before Travis Hunter decided to announce 
that he was coming to Colorado, he put out to his audience, hey, we're going to wait till we hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube before I announce my decision. So he gave the audience the opportunity to be a part of his decision. Hear me, y'all. Hear me. Hear me. I don't want you to be a college student athlete and feel like your university used you up. I don't want you to be a student athlete and feel like uh, the fans showing up at the game, they only benefited from you when you played. Leverage this notoriety, whatever level of notoriety that it is. If you're on campus and they want you to come to somebody's class, if they want you to share about your experience, do it. If you have the opportunity to go and give back and go to schools and read to kids. I remember we used to do that when I was in college. We would go to schools and we would read books to kids. Do that. That way, not only do these kids get to know you, but also teachers get to know you at local high schools and principals and different things like that. And then think creatively, how can you leverage this or leverage that? Travis Hunter has leveraged the ability of being himself, okay? He's come out being himself. He shares on his on his show, and he shares on his social media about him liking to fish. So what does he go out and do? He goes out and gets an NIL deal with the company that offers fishing equipment, that offers glasses. And here's another thing, okay? I have some other people I want to talk about, too. But, y'all, when I saw Travis Hunter doing that, I was like, say, he's got something. And then he let the people know. He said, hey, we're going to update you. and We're going to drop another episode. And I'll notify you by way of my social media. He's, he's taking control over the media. He's not saying you have to go here or go there to see when we're going to drop the episode next. You can just check my social media, which is, telling, which is him telling us to follow him on social media. So we know what the move is. All right. But then uh, my guy, Justin Stuckey, I mention him every so many episodes because he's doing such a great job and he's remaining relevant and being innovative with the content he's creating. I saw him. Where was it? On Instagram the other day because he's at University of Auburn and he was break. He was doing sideline reporting he, he basically had his own college game day on his instagram page so he shows up saying hey i'm on the yard and he's going around interviewing people who are at auburn he's interviewing kids he's interviewing patrons he's interviewing uh former athletes at auburn and he's doing all this and then he got the opportunity to collaborate with Auburn's Instagram page, collaborate by way of him creating the content and then him posting it, but then requesting that Auburn partners with him. I don't know what he set up on the back end, and I don't know if he went in and talked with them about it first or whatever, but either way, he's getting strategic and innovative with the content. Y'all, we have to begin to leverage all of the resources that we have. Okay, all of the resources. He said, I'm going to be at Auburn for a couple of years. And he's told me before that he wants to do something by way of sideline reporting, by way of sports commentating. So he's leaning into doing that now. If you desire to be in a certain profession, what other experiences can we do that begin to set us up for that profession? Travis Hunter might want to do color color commentary, but he might not. But either way, this is experiences that's adding to his skill set as a personality and as a person. Right. Not just not not just ultimately as a football player, but he's just sharing his thoughts and opinions. We all can do that. And then there's another group of individuals who I want to highlight. And the podcast on the prairie and this podcast was initially started by Jeremiah Hall and Braden Willis, right? They're the founders of the podcast. However, however, now what they've done, they've passed the podcast down. Ooh, this is so good. 
the podcast on the prairie. So now what they've done with uh, the Pine on the Prairie and with Danny Stutzman and Jaron Koenig. So now they've transferred or passed the podcast on to them, right? Because they're current OU players and they're currently a part of Sooner Nation. So one thing that's really been innovative about this particular podcast is they understood the leverage that the podcast brought for them or they understood the leverage that they created with their own media platform. And then the title of their media is comma per me media. So they've created their own media platform. And this is one podcast that's a part of what they've created and they could and may potentially create more. So this is really innovative. And this is something else that we want to shout them out on. Right. So shout out to Jeremiah Hall and Braden Willis with OU, because I've been following their podcast for uh, a little while now and seeing how they've really taken ownership and they set up and they record on Zoom, I believe it is. And they have their microphones. They got the cord connected and they rock it and they rolling. So great job for them with the podcast on the prairie. So what we have to understand is this is an area. This is an era right now of athlete driven media and it's athlete driven media because the athletes have full and total control. Just like I said, all the people that I listed off, right? I listed off Trevor, Travis Hunter, right? Who's going in, who has his own podcast in partnership with Bleacher Report. I also listened off, uh, I also listed off Justin Stuckey, who has his own podcast entitled Stuck in My Thoughts with Justin Stuckey. And now he's leveraging the media because he understands the way media works. So now he's doing the pregame reporting and interviewing people on the sidelines and different stuff like that. Then we talked about the podcast on the Prairie with um, now with Danny Stutzman and Jaron Koenig, right? With the founders of the podcast being Jeremiah Hall and Braden Willis. I reached out to them. I need to get one of those guys on the show. I would love to talk with them more. Um, about all this coming together. And then, and then, and then I can't leave off. I can't, I can't leave off Demetria Carter, right? We interviewed her um, some episodes ago. I'm going to link that episode down in the show notes. She's a former uh, track athlete for Baylor University, and she is the creator of Tiny Talks. So one thing that Demetria has been able to do is she now runs the social channels for Team USA. For Team USA people, and she had an innovative idea. Now I look up and I see her getting interviews with some of your favorite athletes. Every time I look up, I can go down her page. I see her interviewing, let's see, she uh, here she's interviewing Masai Russell. Here, she is interviewing, here, here she's interviewing uh, Shamir Little. Here, she's interviewing Sydney McLaughlin. Here, she is interviewing Trayvon Bromley. I can just go down and all of the people she's interviewing have significant followings. Why is this relevant here? This is a whole bonus tip for whoever stayed and was rocking with the pod and still listening. By way of her interviewing these people, she is doing something that I like to call content hacking. It's actually interview hacking, right? When you interview people who have a following that's greater than yours or have a little bit more influence or traction on social channels, when you share that content, and of course, they're going to push it out because you're interviewing them, right? They're excited. They just won this race. They won that race. They're going to share it. So now, by way of her being the one with the microphone because the one who has the microphone is the one who has the power so by way of her being the one with the microphone and doing the interview now she gets to push it out they're going to share it a benefit for her is going to be more traction to her page more people come in what who is she what does she do what is this what is she doing oh how many other people has she interviewed oh she interviewed some of my favorite track athletes This 
is how you work media and don't let media work you. Family, this is Jonathan Jones. This has been another episode of Beyond the Ball. Be sure to tap in with the podcast at Beyond the Ball Media, right? At Beyond the Ball Media on Instagram. That's where we house this show. That's where we house the Your Podcast Mentor Show. So be sure to tap in there on Instagram. But family, if this episode added any value to you, please, I just ask that you share it with three friends. Three friends, okay? Share it with three friends because I want more student athletes to understand media and then understand while you have ultimate leverage at your university, let's see how you can leverage that in your favor. Okay, so share this with three friends. This has been Beyond the Ball, and I want you really to take authority and ownership of your media because if you don't, somebody else will. All right, family, it's Beyond the Ball where we help you succeed beyond your degree. Until next time, peace and God bless.